could have been ahead by a lot more. I mean, they could have scored a level at the moment, but when they got out to that 12 or 18 point lead, they could have easily been, you know, five goals in front, but they didn't take their opportunities, as you said. No. Nope. They've let Baldwin come back into the game, and uh, this third quarter is going to be fascinating. So, we're just moments away from said third quarter, and the action resuming out here at Tarara Road. Scores all locked up, 6 4 40 apiece. Week one and round one of the 2018 Eastern Footy League season is about to uh, continue here as Wen goes up against Whale Barkson in the ruck. Whale Barkson gets the fist on it, the ball loose on the deck, and we've got a free kick already. And uh, looks like it was free in the back. And that was against Cam Manuel. And uh, well, going back for the free kick here is Wadley, about uh, 70 metres from home. Probably lucky to get that free kick, Wadley, in the fact that umpire could have easily played advantage there. So Wadley now sizes up his options, kicks one in short in the direction there. Of a oh. oh, beautiful mark taken there by Angel. And he's going to go back from about uh, 45 on a 45 angle and look to get Vermont in front to start this term. He's pretty agile, this guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's a, he's a good a, player. For a big man, he's kicked lots of lots of goals in the, from, where, from the Western WFL, I think he was. He reminds me a little bit of Zach Smith to look at from uh, Geelong. He's that sort of build. Yeah, he is, doesn't he? So in comes Anger. Here's the kick. Oh, it's a lovely it's kick. It's a beautiful kick. It is straight through the middle, and Anger gets his first of the afternoon and Vermont's first of this second half. They lead 7 4 46, Baldwin 6 4 40, one and a half gone here on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard third term. Once again, it just proves how important that centre clearance is here is a Tarara Road because if you win that centre clearance, you're able to set up any forward four way with both your full forwards and centre half forwards being able to lead to any direction of the ground to set up play. Actually, talking about Angel, he kicked uh, 203 goals from 105 games in the Sandfall, and he got 77 last year. So he knows where the big sticks are as the ball is uh, thrown up. McCoon takes it out. He's played really well, McCoon, especially on the tight stuff. As the ball goes forward inside 50, it's all a bit messy. They're trying to get themselves out of it as ball, and they do well just for the moment. But it's going to come straight back onto the left boot. It comes back inside 50. Can they get a mark? It's easily but taken there. A bit too easily. It was Tyson Harms, or Himes. He's come into the game really well towards the back end of the halfway play out, and I think this is the replay we're watching now. This is the thing with, as I said in the in the second quarter, Tyson Himes is just one of those players that just gets under your guard, and he just runs into those into those positions where you don't expect him to run, and he pulls off good marks. I tell you what, there's not much of him, but he's uh, he's alive by this for sure. Oh, he's got a big heart, Tyson. He's pretty much straight in front. He'd be kicking from about 30 metres on its way. And he's, and he's missed it. He's pushed it out to the right. So that's disappointing. That's the only thing that lets him down is his kicking. So Himes adds the uh, point to the score. It is uh, a 47-40 game. So seven-point margin on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And Baldwin to bring it back in. And it's Kennedy, one of the big uh, marquee recruits for Baldwin. Taking his time. Puts it onto the right boot. Decides to go... Oh, that's beautifully taken across. That's not a great kick, and it's been cut off. And once again, Vermont can just bring it straight back in. Once again, just slow with the kick, though. They take a, they've taken a long time. The kick isn't a good one. In fact, it's been made to look a lot better than it was. And that's Wadley taking the mark deep in the pocket. And he's going to go back. Well, this, is the, uh, this will certainly test him. Well, it's a 30 inside 50 in the, in the first opening three minutes for one goal one. Once again, Sam Wadley leading to the pocket probably the hardest pocket in Vermont to kick goals from. Yeah, hard to see him putting this one through, but you just never know. It's on its way, and no, it's off target, so it always looked to be a bit beyond him as we hit boundary side with Tim Fitzsimons. Yeah, Vermont have really dominated the start of this third term. Very similar to the start of the game. A lot of repeat inside 50s, but they couldn't put it on the scoreboard in that first quarter, so they'll be looking to do so here. So Weatherall brings the footy back in, just goes in short, and finds his team out there in Rennie Gilchrist. And not much on offer. So he decides to play on and kick one down towards the boundary line and just a little too much. The intended target there was Bain, but it's out on the full. And we will have a free kick going the way here of Vermont Himes to bring the ball back in. It's about 70 metres from home. He pumps this one in towards full forward. Plenty of players there oh. flying at the back there. It was Whale Buxton, just couldn't bring it down. And it'll be a ball up as a result. Tell you what, he had a decent piece of that too, but just didn't hold it long enough. 
So when versus Whale Buxton, quite the ruck contest this year. Whale Buxton wins the tap, Gilchrist wins the footy, tries to pump it out, it's loose on the deck, Wadley dives in there, hand pass out, here come Baldwin. Reagan gets the hands out to cross, he sends a long one up now, and Byrne now gets a kick down towards the half forward flank. It ends up in the feet there of Fisher, looking out for it is, is Davis. It ends up now in the hands of Gilchrist, shakes a couple of players, but his handball goes back to Fisher, who pumps one back in towards half forward, and away come the Eagles. Well a done. kick now in towards Whale Buxton. He goes by hand Ooh. to McCoon. Drops it and Baldwin might get a reprieve here as McComb did the roving, got the handball out, but uh, it's reeled right back in. And uh, well, a good counter attack there from the Eagles, Brash. Yeah, but uh, once again, Vermont just got a little got a little bit too cute there. In instead of kicking the ball forward, they're looking for easier targets. Whale Bucks and double fits it down now. Here to Johns, and his shot is wide, and just the minor score here for the Eagles. That's three straight behinds to start uh, after the first goal this uh, third term. They are now 7-7-49. Seven, seven, they lead Baldwin 6-4-40 with uh, five and a half gone here third term. So a little bit reminiscent of the first uh, half when uh, Vermont got off to the good start but couldn't convert their chances and now they work it out again. Really in the hands of, sorry, Brash Preto. Really poor disposal here by Baldwin out of their back line though. So it's on the ground and we'll have a ball up I'd say as it's uh, taken down there. I mean, they've had three turnovers. Brett Kennedy there was, was one was one of the culprits. And so umpire throws it up. Once again, it was the uh, Vermont that got the first hands to the ball. Gobel was going in there looking for it, but it's on the ground. It's been dragged in. But the umpire says benefit of the doubt, and he'll throw it up again. One player, I think, ball will need a little bit more out of the, the second half, Cam Manuel. Yeah, exactly. Uh, his intensity at the ball just hasn't been there at the moment. Started to come into it a bit towards the back end of that half, but he really does need to impose himself. Brash, you're absolutely right. I could not agree more as the ball goes out towards the wing. Fumbled by Baldwin, but they get it back. And close to the boundary line. He's still in over there. As it goes down towards the scoreboard, but Vermont once again cut it off. And they'll rebound as they decide to switch. They've done that a bit in the first half, too, switching play. And it's worked pretty well for them. And the long kick down towards the centre wing. Oh, great oh, mark. Oh, great mark taken. I think it's Pendlebury. It is Chris Pendlebury. He got over the top of Whale Buxton. That's not an easy... In fact, it was Anger, sorry. So Pendlebury. So Pendlebury looking around. Puts the boot to ball. And it's, once again, it's a bit of... It's a kick into about a three-on-one there. And there was only ever going to be one thing that happened, and that was Vermont get the ball. Get the ball. Goebbels goes in there. Whale bucks in. Yep. Oh. And Clyde, we thought we were going to be playing on there, but the umpire says, no, we'll bring it back. Thanks very much. Actually, believe it or not, that, that was pretty good play by, uh, by Whale Buxton there because he's actually managed to allow his, his counterparts to get back into their forward line and, and, and stop any sort of leads. So Jeff Gobel's just having a chat with the umpire there, asking where he's going at for dinner tonight. Now he turns around, takes a bounce, and now decides to go inside. Oh. That's downfield. That's Fifty. stupid. That and is that really is stupid. What happened there, Brash? Eddie. Eddie. Eddie just come from behind and decided to drag him down after he disposed the ball. So stupid play. Discipline will kill you in footy. And that wasn't flash. No, it was not. So just waiting for the ball to... You know, Vermont returns. have had all the play in eight minutes of the first quarter. I think this is uh, Baldwin's first forward 50, and they could actually get a goal out of it. And okay. I believe there's now been a 25-metre penalty being given. So that bring Haley, brings uh, Charlie Haley back right into goal-kicking distance. He's kicked one today, Charlie Haley. He's had a uh, fair game. No, two, two, sorry. I missed, oh, he has two. Two. I've got two down, but my eyes are deceiving me. Here he comes. Looking to add a third. And get... Uh, Ball into within two points. There's not much of him. How much does he get? He's kicked it pretty well. It's a good kick. I think he's got it. He has straight out of the umpire's hat. And that's a terrific kick from Charlie Haley. It's his third of the afternoon. He's had a pretty fair game. And Baldwin, well, they continue to just hang around Vermont by three points on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. 7 7 49 plays 7 4 46. That'll be the thing that would be frustrating harm at seeing no, no end, having so much possession of the, of the, of the ball, winning the centre clearances. And going into their forward, into their forward 50, three misses, some questionable delivery into their forward line, and it's it's come back to hurt them at the moment, Brett. So nine and a half played here, third term, three-point game 
here to the Eagles as well. Buxton wins the tap down. It's loose on the deck, trying to sock her off the ground there. Was uh, Baldwin, and that's gone over. The ball appeals for deliberate, but uh, I don't think that's going to be in the eyes of the boundary umpire favourable, and we'll have a boundary throw in. So, boundary throw in centre wing side, far side of the ground. As uh, the rucks go at it, Whale Buxton versus Baglava now into the ruck, rotating there with Wen of Baldwin. It's grabbed down now here by Parker, and he's held there by Cross. And we'll have a ball up just inside the boundary line, far side of the ground, just in front of the scoreboard here at Tarara Road. And the rucks go at it again. Whale Buxton being dominant in the ruck so far as Greenwood got a good kick out off the deck. And a kick inside now, 50 in the direction there, looking for Johns. It was fisted away from him and eludes McComb. But ball wouldn't come away from the footy and move out through their half back line. A kick in towards centre half forward and unable to take it there. But Hyams can take it here for the Eagles. And he gets a hand pass out now here to McComb. He pumps one in towards two, two. ball forward. And while no one there, Tregear got a ball bounce and it's a loose footy. And three Baldwin players and three Vermont players both missed the contest. And here's Manuel now. And his kick is out on the full, and that was a real sloppy bit of play. That was a both. really, that was really poor play there by Cam Manuel. As McComb has it now in centre wing for Vermont, he spears one oh, in close, and he's oh. given it straight over here to Cross, who pumps one in towards centre half forward, contested footy, and going back with the flight. That's what is happens. As Goebbels, and well, he has really come to life in the last 20 minutes of the game, and he's going to line up and look for goal number three, as far as he's concerned this afternoon. There was a really good shepherd they came in there, Brass. I don't know if you saw who that was, and they just knocked McComb out of the way, and that really set it up. I think it might have been, it could have been Davis, actually. So, Goebbels kicked 51 last year in 20 games. That is most 77 in 2016, and he's got two so far for 2018, looking for three. He's going to come in from about 45 metres out on about an angle of about 20 metres. His kick, That's a goal. oh, his pinpoint accuracy there from Jeff Goebbels, and he's got his third of the afternoon. And Baldwin hit the front. They are now 52 playing 49, 7 7 49, 8 4 52. 12 minutes gone here on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard third turn. And that's exactly what happens when you turn the ball over and you don't make hay while the sun signs. When you get your opportunity to kick goals, you're going to get burn on the, burnt on the turnaround. And that's what's happening to Vermont here. As we go boundary side with Tim Fitzsimons. Yeah, Brush just right on the money there because it was it's probably the worst place on the ground to turn it over almost at half back because we know the transition to, uh, from defence into attack is unbelievably quick these days. So that was Angel that got the tap and it's fallen for Baldwin and they go inside 50 again trying to look for the mark but bouncing around over there. Handball away from Fisher, uh, not Fisher, it was uh, Haley. Yeah, he's a shot Haley goal. Again. Haley again. That's oh. a fantastic kick, and Haley is starting to have, I tell you what, he's having some sort of game. I'm pretty sure it was him that went in there and got the ball initially. He did. And as it came out, he roved his own ball and then got the handball away, and then he got the kick. That was just absolutely brilliant. He must be a uh, pretty good contender for uh, best on ground at the moment, Charlie Haley. Now the question's been going to be asked of Vermont. Ball responded just on the stroke of half time. Vermont having all the play in the first eight minutes have given that up in four minutes of football. Now they're ten points behind. They've got to respond now. So Whale Buxton's gone down into the forward line now here for Vermont. As the ball at the centre square and diving in there was Tommy Schneider for Vermont. And he can't win the footy. And we'll have a ball up. Baldwin side of the ground just on the edge of the centre square. And uh, well, it looks like he's uh, trying to put his boots back on. But yeah, the question is now here, how will Vermont respond to this? Baldwin, a couple of flurries from them have been basically the decider so far in this game. One just before half time and one now with about 13 and a half played here in the third quarter. Angel wins the tap down, trying to bust out there is Hines with a footy in pursuit. There is Roach and we've got a free kick going the way of the Eagles. Is that a good quarter for Vermont, Tyson Himes? Himes now, Himes Johns, the skipper, kicks one in towards centre half forward, the target over the top, Eddie, oh. what a mark! Out jeweled his opposite number there, Aiden Kennedy, and the two Sandful imports, Collide and Eddie. He's already got one this afternoon in the second term. We'll go back and look for his second and a possible response here from Vermont. Just seems to be able to cruise to the football with these, Brett Eddie, and he, he's got a nice, nice leap on him. Uh, needs to kick this goal for the Eagles. Here's Eddie now. He moves in from about 45. The kick is. Yep. 
straight through the sticks and Fermont respond to those two goals from Baldwin and it's now a three point margin as Fermont 8 7 55 trail Baldwin 9 4 58 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard 14 and a half gone third turn well under Tyson Hines there for putting his body on the line and winning a free kick quickly move the ball on with on transition which helps set up Eddie with that beautiful pass I'll tell you what just when you think uh, one team's getting the ascendance if the other comes back this is one heck of the game and Vermont, after a little good patch by Baldwin, have just got themselves back on track. As we get the ball back up in the middle, getting up there and getting the head out was Buck, uh, Whale Buxton. Now he's a chance for Baldwin. They get the kick inside 50, but can they get the mark? That's the thing coming over the top, but not mark, not taken. Falls for a oh, snap at goal, and I think it's Cam Manuel. It's Cam Manuel. We've been talking about how he needs to get into the game, and boy, he's done that with big time. Let's just watch the replay as the ball come out, beautifully roved. That's the goal of the day so And that far. is definitely yep. the uh, contender for goal of the day. Magnificent stuff. You can see the hands up from the uh, forward players as they were running towards goal. They knew it was going through. And that is what Cam Manuel can do to you. You just leave him free for just one minute, and he punishes you. And he has done on that occasion his first of the day. One thing about ball in this afternoon, that they haven't really wasted many opportunities going inside their forward 50. They've been very efficient, and their goal-to-behind ratio on inside 50s has been very good. So 8 7 55, Baldwin in front by nine as the fist down there from Baglava trying to get through there was O'Regan. Hyams is in there, he goes in hard as a couple of players, Gilchrist being one of them for Baldwin, trying to get a loose footy and we'll have a ball up on centre half forward now here for Baldwin. I wouldn't mind seeing Anger on the ball to give Whale Buxton a bit of a break here just so they can break the game a bit. Whale Buxton goes to the double hand tap now here to Johns. Well picked up on the break. He kicks one down towards centre half, uh, sorry, the half forward flank. And Purdy just sees the ball over the boundary line. We have a boundary throw in on the far side of the ground. Half forward flank now here for the Eagles. A new captain, Lockie Johns, probably hasn't had, needs to probably just to lift his intensity a little bit, been a little bit out of the, been a little bit out of the play for a bit too long. 16 and a half gone, third term, nine point ball game as the tap comes in here from Whale Buxton. Johns couldn't do it, as couldn't Oregon. It's got a soccer off the deck and in pursuit there is Greenwood, but it ends up in the hands. Great tackle applied on McCafferty there by Gilchrist and he's won the free kick. And they're about 60 from home here. Gilchrist plays on quickly, gets a kick in towards the direction there. Haley doing the right, oh, going back with a flight set. Well, but it comes out here to Gottlieb, so to Connor Byrne, it's up, it's up, and Barker can't take the mark. Ball on the deck, Manuel loses the footy, picked up now here by Barker. His kick was smothered, and it goes out over the boundary line, and we'll have a boundary throw. It was out in the full, excuse me. And bringing it back in here is McCafferty. He swings one up towards the half-back flank and taken there by Wallace, who's had quite the game. He's been a bit quieter this third term. He's kicking towards the centre of the ground, finds his teammate now here in Caney. Caney thought about the hand pass, plays on, kicks up in towards the full forward direction. Great mark oh. taken there by Anger, just muscled his man off the contest in Chris Pendlebury. And he'll go back from about 45. Let's cross boundary side of Tim Fitzsimons. That was really impressive there by Wallace, a kid in his first game, to pull the trigger and really go inboard, really open the game up, and we can see what happens when they move the ball quick. So Anger is going to go back. Already got one this quarter with the first goal of the quarter. 45 out at a 30 degree angle, far side of the ground. And this to bring his side within three points potentially. Here comes the kick. It is very good there from Anger. And he gets his second of the afternoon and for the quarter. It's now a three point margin to the Baldwin Tigers footy club. 64 plays 61 here at Tarara Road. Well, Anger Anger certainly knows how to kick a goal. That's two for him in this quarter. And uh, from difficult angles and you know, Vermont are just hanging in there at the moment. They, it's almost like both sides are really sweating on each other's mistakes the way this game's panning out, isn't it? I'll tell you what, Bracia, I hate to see this uh, Vermont forward line when Jake Vest comes back. If Angel continues to kick like this, they're going to be tough to beat. As the ball comes up from the restart, McCoom diving in there, couldn't keep, uh, couldn't get his hands on it. Now, Manuel is in there too. He's really coming to his own in this third quarter. The kick forward, looking for a target. But nice work back going back there was Fisher. Here's not a bad game either. Joseph Fisher, he gets a handball away as they decide to work it down the boundary line. Bit of a wobbly old kick comes back in field. Whale Buxton couldn't get his hands on it. Ball, uh, ball would have turned it over. Now it's been knocked forward, but uh, once again, it's McCoon. He's had a fantastic game. Good mark. Well, not such a good kick that time, though. I put the mockers on him. 
Our ball went to side. They'll do the switch on this occasion. But that's well Tyson Himes. Great work. Tyson Himes, he's been one of the best players for Vermont. He gets a kick towards goal, but he's way off target this time. Probably couldn't blame him for having a ping there. There was really nothing up forward, but great interception, and he did pretty well to uh, to intercept and uh, get the kick away, but unfortunately not the most accurate. Through for a minus four. Well, he's had a good quarter, Tyson Himes, for Vermont. Six possessions. Tried to do something and be constructive. So Pendlebury it was. He got the ball back into play. Once again, the slow build-up from Baldwin. Looking for the next kick. There's plenty of players calling for the ball. Jackson Weatherall. He is. He decides to go back. Straight back to uh, Pendlebury, where it came from. Chris Pendlebury runs forward. A little short kick. Nicely done. Gilchrist. This is a good little period, but having said that, Baldwin really aren't to making a lot of ground. Fraser goes out wide. Well, that's a high tackle, definitely. Angel, no, the umpire says play on. Now Weatherald with the kick forward. Mark taken. This is a really good play by Baldwin. They're starting to get some possession and putting some kicks together. Goebel's over on the far side, tried to get it, but he was outnumbered over there. It was a two on one. And in the end, the ball out of bounds. That was Tyson Himes again. Gee, he, he covers a lot of ground. That was a nice interception there, Brett, to, to create a, a stoppage. So we're into time added on here in the third quarter. Two points the margin in favour of Baldwin as the Rucks go at it. One down there by Wen. Whale Bucks and swats it back the other way. Picked up by Greenwood and he goes by hand now here to McCafferty. He's running down the outside of the centre wing area. Swings one in towards half forward. And a good mark oh. taken to the back there by Pendlebury. Got the better of that exchange. And he starts to build from the back here from Baldwin. He just goes in short, finds Gilchrist. And it's Baldwin moving this ball out now across the half back. Here's Connor Burns. He swings this one out now here towards the half forward flank. And a great mark oh. going back with the flight of the footy. And, uh, well, looks like that was Ori So that was Bain. That is courageous, incredibly courageous. Looks like he's hurt himself, too. As, uh, well, he's actually taken himself off the ground as a result of that. So, <laughs> uh, hope he's okay. Tommy Roach is going to take the, the footy here as he kicks this one in towards the full forward area. And it's one down. Goebbels can't take it cleanly. Loose footy. McComb dives in there. Goebbels dives on top of him. And we'll have a ball up about 20 metres directly in front of the Baldwin goal. So 22 minutes played here in this third term. Swatted down by Wayne into the run of Haley. Appearance for help without. Manuel swoops onto the loose footy and he's put it through. Advantage paid, maybe not. No, he's hit the post. Oh, dearie me. Cam Manuel ran into an open goal. Here's the replay. Have we look. He's kicked it straight into the goal post. He's not going to want to see that. Uh, on the highlight reel, it's now 10 5 65 ball when leading Vermont 9 8 62. And so, I wonder if uh, Rodney Eve will drag him, but uh, <laughs> we <laughs> shall see. So, Lockie John's in possession of the ball, he goes long, looking for widely, but a terrific mark taken there, running back with the flight by Roach. And now they try to build something up for when they're getting this possession and they're chipping it around a lot better and just keep controlling the ball in this uh, quarter. Oh, that was That's high. a terrific tackle. Has he paid high? Yeah. Okay. And I reckon that might be number 21 at the bottom of the pack again. Yep. It yep. is. Tyson he's, Himes. He's having some game. So, a long kick forward inside 50, looking for the target. There's plenty of bodies in there. It's a terrific work. And they'll just stroll into an open goal. And it's hit Man Angel. He's had a pretty handy game. Three for the quarter. He's third for the quarter. Let's just see. He took this initial mark when it came inside 50. And it's beautifully done. And it was the big man, uh, Edie. He's played really well for it, Edie, and unselfishly gave it off to Ainger. And Ainger thought his Christmas had come early, just strolling into an open goal. Terrific uh, play. Isn't it, isn't it amazing how both sides are really punishing each other on the turnover? They kicked that one, one out. One poor handball, one poor kick. It's into the forward line, and there's, there's a score happening. They kicked that one over Canterbury Road <laughs> from about five <laughs> metres out in Gee, the goal square. It might be parked where I am, Brett. <laughs> 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 Better get the insurance claim worked out, Brash. Might be your windscreen gone. Yeah, <laughs> that wouldn't be far wrong. 24 minutes played into the ruck. Now goes Whale Buxton. Couldn't win the tats. That's Angel, excuse me. Just kicked the goal straight into the ruck. Here's a kick out now here from Wilson from Baldwin. It's a high up and under. Himes couldn't get the spoil down. Neither could Wen. Himes lays the tackle. High tackle indeed. And a free kick here going the way here of Gilchrist from Baldwin. Three points the margin. Well, Gilchrist got nothing much up field decides to kick it in long now in towards the pocket going back with a flight great oh. mark 
taken there by Cam Manuel. And no, I reckon is it Manuel or Hal? Uh, what's his name? No, it's Manuel. Manuel. Yep. And uh, he's going to go back from 45 out. And uh, well, that's a great mark going back. Well, he's looking to atone for his previous mistake. Here, about 45 out, 45 degree angle, and this to close the margin and potentially put Baldwin three points in front here on the near side of the ground in Tarara Road side of the ground. Here's the kick here from Manuel. Oh, it's a beautiful kick. It's straight class. through the middle. Oh, and it's three points in favor of Baldwin late here in the third term. They lead 71-68. Let's go down to Tim Fitzsimons' boundary side. It's a bit of a hot spot, that pocket. There's been plenty of good goals from that area today. It's been, it's pretty, it's a pretty tough pocket. Obviously the wrong side for a right footer, but we've seen a lot of players being able to work it really well. So, class players always come to the fore at uh, crucial times. It was a courageous mark running back with a flight that he got up and slotted it through. Of course, former Chandler medalist Cam Manuel, and you can see how Roper will certainly miss him. But he's ball wins gain as the ball goes up, and it's Wale Buxton gets the tap down. Now, here's an opportunity for maybe Verna, Vermont to get something late in this quarter. We must be close to the break towards the boundary over there, but great work over there picked up by Kalopi. Runs inside, but the ball goes loose. Oh, heavy tackle over there. There's been some terrific uh, defence this afternoon. It was uh, Weatherall that was over there. And the umpire says we'll throw it in. We've had uh, 25, nearly 26 minutes. And it's fallen by three points on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. It's still far too close to uh, call. And Fly throws it in. Plenty of height on the throw. So once again, it's Wale Buxley who knocks it down. Going there, I think it's McCoon. Loved his game today. He's been uh, fantastic. I think Rennie Gilchrist has been pretty good for Baldwin across the half-back line this afternoon as well. So, tap that time one by Baldwin. It's bouncing around, and Vermont do get it forward. Can they get him? No, they Gone. can't. Right, Baldwin back in possession of the ball, trying to move it, and it's Weatherall to get the kick away down the line. A little bit lucky, but in the hands of Gilchrist. And here they come, a, a opportunity for Baldwin. A kick goes through hands, opportunity for them to maybe uh, wrap it up. Oh. <laughs> Heavy hit there. Once again, it's Vermont. As they kick down the centre of the ground, there's Anger. What a terrific day he's had. And the snap towards goal. How does it look? No, it's way off target. And in fact, it's out on the full no score at all. So 27 minutes played. And it's fallen by three points on the Benigo Bank scoreboard. Tyson Nimes coming off the ground now here for Vermont. Well, he's earned his spell, Tyson. He's worked hard in the third quarter. Indeed he has as Wallace. Oh, oh that was a poor kick out. And... Wallace, who's had quite some game this afternoon, his first senior game of footy, he's going to line up from about 30 on about a 40 degree angle and potentially get Vermont back in front. Well, put it this way, both sides can be guilty of some poor passing in their back line. Here's just another opportunity. This time it's Vermont's chance. Here's Wallace's kick. Now it's gone straight across the face, across everything, and that's out of bounds on the full. Oh, no, oh it's mean? marked on the line. Oh, that was uh, the Baldwin players seem to disagree. Oh, there's going to be a consultation now here with a goal umpire. As, as, uh, yeah, what do you reckon? What's your decision? I'd say that was out on the full, to be honest. And we saw this in the Doncaster Blackburn game with that goal in the second quarter. Let's go to the video replay. <laughs> <Yes, laughs> and was it was say. out of bounds on the full. I'll stand corrected and collect my 50 bucks after the game as Weatherall now. That'll be that'll that'll should feed me for the week. He's Weatherall deep in his own for the day. <laughs> for the day. Oh, that's being generous. <laughs> and one ball one now now here by Baldwin. Rennie Gilchrist now in his own back pocket. And just a gain of about 20 metres here from Baldwin. We must be approaching three-quarter time shortly. Umpire tells him to play on. Gilchrist now spears one up in the direction. They're almost a mark taken by Barker. And excuse me, that was Goebbels coming in from the side. And we'll have a boundary throw in on the half forward flank here for Vermont. That nearly 29 minutes played here in this third term here at Tarara Road. Whale Buxton and Wen dueling in the ruck. Wen almost winning that one down. Goebbels, Gilchrist, and we've got a free kick out of this going the way here. I believe this is going to go to Baldwin on Welly Gilchrist. Although that was a bit of a high tackle. And uh, hearing it from the Vermont faithful here is Renny Gilchrist. <laughs> Probably hear that in our effects, Mike. There's Gilchrist now. 
Maybe a late one here for Bowen, but uh, we don't know how much time is left. There's 29 and a half has been played. Gilgris just plays this safe and plays it in short across his own half back line here to Aiden Kennedy. And uh, five goals to four in this quarter, probably probably maybe 30, 31 minutes. Oh, Kennedy made about four hesitations there. Gets a rubber of a kick up towards the center wing area. Baldwin can't take it cleanly. Ball forced over the boundary line. Well, it's a bit of a dog's breakfast there from the Tigers at the back line. The last two minutes, particularly with that uh, previous kick out from Pendlebury. Gee, that was, that was an ugly piece of play. <laughs> so, as we approach three-quarter time, here comes the boundary throw. Well, Buxton comes over the top and swats it across. Taken here by Haley. He's taken over the line and we'll have another boundary throw in. And, well, there's uh, plenty of uh, <laughs> plenty of uh, well, Charlie, atmosphere from the Vermont well, Eagles. Even when Charlie Haley was at North <laughs> Ringwood, he's just one of those players that polarizes oppositions. Swatted over the top and a foot race now here. Wilson did well there for Baldwin, did well to keep it onside of the boundary line. A hand pass out. Now here's a runner there from Haley again. Picked up now here by Bain. He goes by hand. Here's the kick coming in towards the direction there of Goebbels. And he takes the mark just inside the 50, right on the boundary line. He's going to have a crack. Why not? He's kicked three already. And how important was that to keep your feet? Greenwood lost his foot, foot, foot there. Well, he's his foot his feet. there, yeah. <laughs> and obviously that created that loose man going into Baldwin's forward line. Great effort there from Wilson to keep that uh, play alive. And here comes Jeff Goebbels from 50. The kick That's is a, looks like it's to the near side, and just the minus score, and the lead extends to four points here for the Baldwin Footy Club with 31 minutes played, 11 6 72. They lead Vermont 10 8 68 here on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. So Lockie Johns with the ball. Jeff Goebbels has me coming to this game in this quarter. Takes it to himself, Johns. Runs forward. We must be very close to three-quarter time. Johns just bangs it down that's the ground. Kick. And that's, uh, no, it's been played on. The, the umpires Jeez. play on. Rash calling for the free kick. And it's in the hands of Vermont again. If they could get a goal just in this little period before three-quarter time, it would do them right, but they've turned it over. Now it's O'Regan. Is a kick for beautifully taken. That's a fantastic mark by Preto. Wheels around under the left foot, kicks inside. Have they got time? They want to get going here because the siren's going to go any time. Running away with is the uh, Wadley. Wadley gets a kick towards. Oh, the, and that's Anger again. I think yes, it is. I tell you what, he's having some sort of game. I tell you what, he's going to be a headache for a lot of oppositions this year at Andrew Anger. And there is the siren. So Vermont are going to get a gift goal right on time and it's going to give them the lead going into three-quarter time and I think we can write this one down Andrew Anger for his fourth and he puts it through he's having a fantastic game and it's Vermont we'll just wait for the score to flick over actually I'll do it myself 10 8 uh, 70 go 11 8 74 <laughs> plays 11 6 72 Tim, uh, Wayne Brasher what a heart well that was a great quarter of football from 